Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. So today we're going to discuss about how to interact Kafka with Python. So I'm going to tell you how to uh, connect and consume and produce messages in Kafka via Python API. Okay, before getting into it, uh, prerequisite for this video, you just need to know what Kafka is all about. Okay, so uh, I'll just give you a quick uh, uh, recap of what is Kafka and what exactly we are trying to do. It's a messaging queue. We call this as a MQ which is a messaging queue technology. So Kafka has been highly used in the streaming. So Kafka helps us to retrieve the data in stream. The source could be stream or batch, but Kafka retrieves the data in stream. For example, Kafka acts as a data pipeline tool. It's a distributed data pipeline tool, actually speaking. So for example, you have a website and you have to capture the click events or, or the data from the web in, in streams. You can do it with Kafka or mobile app you can get the data from mobile app or even from databases like mysql oracle etc or files or folders etc so kafka can consume data from all these sources in stream or it could be a technology also so technology like uh, any technologies like big data in big data we have hdfs hadoop map reduce hive so kafka can connect to any of the technology web mobile rdbms no sql databases and cloud services anything kafka can be get connected and it will retrieve the data in streams okay so the source can be batch or stream but kafka retrieves the data in stream that is very important so kafka it's a it's a cluster technology it has the master slave architecture and it also stores the metadata of the consumed and produced messages and many more things so once kafka receives the data so kafka has two things since we call it as a messaging queue kafka has two things one is called producer and then consumer so we call Kafka as a producer consumer, producer subscriber. So consumer otherwise called a subscriber. So producer subscriber model, they used to say, which is a messaging queue technology, as I told you already. So now I'm going to show how to produce the data with Python. So, so with Python, I'm going to produce the data. And with Python, I'm going to show how to consume the data. So in very simple, I can say you have a mobile phone, two mobile phones. So this is you and this is your friend. Okay. So you are using WhatsApp. Okay. So you are using WhatsApp and here your friend is also using WhatsApp, right? So now you are the sender. You are sending a message, right? And your friend is receiver, right? So this is called producer consumer model. So this is actually happens how the message transaction internally happens as an MQ. It's an MQ model, messaging queue system. Okay. So now when you are friend, types i okay so this is where you are producing the message so you call as producer now this message it goes to your friend and he receives it right so hi he received your message so this is called consumer so this producer and consumer in kafka connects with a concept called topic okay so what's up how you both of you are getting connected is through your phone number right so any message that goes to your friend is through your phone number and your friend phone number right something like that producer and consumer are connected with the concept of topic so while producing the message i need to know to which topic i have to send so consumer has to consume that particular topic okay so now let me give you a real-time example <clears throat> now imagine so there is a there is a web app where like users are started clicking the products and they are like whether they are purchasing it or not that is not a thing but they are clicking the product so i have to uh, capture all the click data and then i have to do a process in the streaming and then i have to give them the advertisement based on what they have clicked in in one minute back so i'm giving same kind of a product and their advertisement in the different websites whatever they visit so that it's kind of a sentimental analysis i'm doing so now i'm going to use some technology to process the data imagine i'm using spark spark is a technology in big data so i'm going to use spark to process but the question is so how the data the click events from the web that gets into spark so only when i get the data only i can able to do the process right or imagine like you have live uh, tv shows and live cricket score update so how this spark is processing it so now here i need a data pipeline tool so i'm going to use kafka as a data pipeline tool it's a separate cluster technology a distributed layer environment for um, uh, retrieving the data and streams from the source so now here in the web <clears throat> I have to, so as a Kafka, what I have to do? 
So here web is the data where the data get produced with the help of Kafka and then spark is where the data has been consumed with the help of Kafka. So Kafka is actually helping to produce the data and consume the data to the destination. So now what I have to do, so this web application has developed by a web developer. Now what I have to do, I have to give my, so in Kafka you have two APIs, producer API and consumer API. That is what I'm going to show you in Python now. So I have to give this Python producer code to the web developer and I ask him to integrate in all the product click button. Okay, so whenever they click that button, this producer code will be get called. So that click event will be captured by this producer and then handed over to Kafka to the topic. So one topic, for example, I have a topic as sales. So you have to create this topic in Kafka. So this producer sends the uh, produced data by the click events by the user to Kafka through this topic. And again, in Spark, I have to consume this. So now I have to give the consumer Python code in Spark. So to the consumer or Spark or whichever technology it is, I have to give as a Kafka developer, I have to give the Python API for the producer to the source and then I have to give the Python API of the consumer to the destination. Okay, so now when when the data get consumed in the Spark, I got the data now. Now I do the process and then finally I store it in the database or I send it back to a website or I send it to ad agencies, whatever it could be. So this is what an architecture of how a streaming data has been happening. So now you need to know how to consume this data through Python or Java. So today I'm going to show you how to do this with Python. So Kafka has its own commands to test it out, but but th that commands will not help us to do it product productionized things right so we need some programming languages to do so now i'm going to show you in kafka i'm going to show you this producer consumer through the kafka command but after that i'll be showing how to do the same in python okay fine let's get into the practical so let's let's okay so let me jump into my system so let me change my directory to kafka okay so i'm into kafka now so i have uh, these list of commands which you have to trigger so i am going to first start my zookeeper so for kafka you need zookeeper because zookeeper is the one uh, which actually holds all the metadata information of kafka so this daemon has to be up and running so i am going to start this with no hub no hub uh, no hub means i am running this process in the background so that uh, my terminal will not be get blocked with the running process right so no hub i'll just write it to some out some log okay so now i'll run this so now i run jps so you can see quorum peer main is the daemon which is running for zookeeper zookeeper daemon name is quorum peer main so next i have to start kafka so the main kafka cluster so entire kafka cluster i have to start so zookeeper is the first one you have to start and then you have to start kafka so again no hub i'm going to run this in background i'll write the logs and trigger it okay now again you trigger jps you will be seeing one more daemon called kafka right so now we started zookeeper and we started kafka so what is the next thing you have to create a topic right so i have to create a topic so if, so if you see this is the command to create the topic so bin slash kafka topic dot as such create topic as sales i'm creating a topic as sales so this is going to be act as a a bridge between the producer and the consumer so producer has to produce the data with the topic name consumer has to consume the data with the pro, uh, topic name i will show you this in the code also so next bootstrap server so bootstrap server means it's like uh, the master server in the kafka we call it as a bootstrap and uh, the ip address where kafka is running is localhost and the default port number of kafka is 9092 replication factor is one because for any message that um, you produce and consume right so kafka internally has the mechanism to uh, store the data with replication so in case of any fault tolerance right fault right so the fault tolerance ca capacity is there with respect to kafka and the partition so is four i'm just giving four so how many partitions should be get created for the data that get transferred uh, as a chunks in the stream right so these are the some information so after this the topic will be get created so now what i'm going to do i'll just copy this and then i'll just create the topic okay so let me create the topic okay so create a topic sales now you can able to list it and see uh, so this is the command to list uh, the list of topics whatever you have okay let's see okay only one topic which is sales fine so next what i'm going to do 
I'm just going to start the producer. So now I, what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll start producer in one window, consumer in one window. In producer, if I type hi, enter, the message will be get consumed to the consumer. So this is completely for the testing purpose and debugging purpose only. Okay. So uh, the real time we used to do it with the API, that is either Python or Java, and that will be get integrated with the source and destination applications. Right. Fine. So now I'll just enter. So I will just open a duplicate session and uh, so here again I will log into uh, Kafka. Okay, so now in this window, what I'm going to do, I'll just start my consumer. So I'll just minimize these two. Okay, I'll just keep it in this way. Okay, uh, okay, so now. In the second window, I have to start my consumer. So here, consumer console consumer data search bootstrap server. I have to say where my Kafka is running and topic is sales. And uh, from the beginning, any messages that from the beginning, okay, I have to get it. So just start this in the second window. Okay, so in second window, my consumer has started, and in the first window, my producer is started. Now just uh, you you can you can just see carefully. I've just typed hi here. Okay, in my left hand side window, I just type hi. In the right hand side, you can able to see I'm getting it. See, it's like sender receiver, right? So next I'll just give hello and you can see in here I'm getting hello, right? So this is what Kafka is. So now this whatever I, I triggered in the left hand side is a producer. This is the producer code you have to integrate with the source application like in website or mobile app. You have to integrate with, with their buttons or whatever it is. So whenever they click the button, our producer code will consume the data. And then it gives to our consumer, our Kafka, our Kafka. Then again from Kafka, I have to write my consumer code and I have to give the consumer to the technology whichever wish to receive the data like Spark or any other technologies, uh, whatever it could be. Okay, so this is what I'm showing you as a testing purpose. I'm showing it in the console. Now let's try to do that in the Python. Okay, so now I'll just open in another window, a duplicate session. So I log into this and then I have to install a package, a Python package, Python pip install Kafka iPhone Python. So you need this package. So let me run this. Okay, so this has been installed. So now let me get into the Python window. I'm sorry, Python 3. Okay, so yeah. So now I'll just walk you through the code. So first thing, uh, this is a uh, consumer code and this is the producer code. Okay, so first I have to produce the data, right? So first I have to run this code. So from Kafka, import Kafka producer, producer equal to Kafka producer of bootstrap server. So I have to just say where my uh, Kafka is running. What is the IP address and port number of my Kafka? As I told you, it is localhost 9092 and producer.send topic name. Okay, the, the two argument we have to pass one is the topic name and the second is all your message. So here I have hard coded the message like Gautam comma mail comma phone comma hundred. But in real time, imagine that you are giving this to a web developer and you say whenever they click the product, the data has to be get received. So in the web product, they would have received all the data and stored it in the object. So that object you have to pass it here. That object could be a name. That name you have to pass it here. That's it. No hard coded value. You pass the object name, whatever even millions of click even comes to that particular object, the producer will produce this data to Kafka. Okay. So now I'll run these code one by one. Okay. First I'll run these two lines in my Python. Okay, so now we are running it in Python. Okay, not in the console. Okay, it's it's a, it's a Python code. So let me uh, show my uh, consumer window also here. Let that be here. So because now I'm going to run the last line, which is like going to send the data. So the data is Gautam mail phone 100. Okay, so when I trigger this in my Python window. Okay, so when I trigger this. Yeah, okay, so this is my Python window. So when I trigger this in my Python window, you can see in the right hand side window, you will be getting the data. See, you got it Gautam mail phone 100. Yeah, so now I produced it. 
right so here this is this is the code to produce the data now next thing i have to consume the data that i can show in the python shell itself so now here it is the code consumer so similarly like uh, you imported for uh, kafka producer right like that you have to import kafka consumer and then consumer equal to kafka consumer topic name that's it and then for each message, I'm iterating the messages. For each message in the consumer, print message. That's it. So just copy all this in one shot and then go back. Yes. Now in the Python terminal itself, you can able to see the output. So now what I do, what I have to do is go to the producer window. Okay, you have to produce the message here. Now just type welcome. So this is the producer, console producer. Okay, it's, it's a console producer. Just type welcome. You can able to see that in the Python window. Yeah, you got the message. So the message is here, right? Welcome. So you can pass this message to just take only that message. Now what I will be doing is, so I will just make this as one dot py file, like consumer dot py, and this is producer dot py. So this line number thirty four to thirty six, I will make this code and I will hand over this to the web developer if I want to receive the web click events means. And the same thing, I have to, I'll be, I'll be converting this. Uh, code to a py file and i'll be sending this to the spark code or whichever technology it is i'll be handing over this api to them so now kafka will act as a, a medium between the producer and the consumer that is the source and destination to retrieve the data in streams so this code i'll be sharing it in my github and i'll give the link in the description box of this video if you really like this video please do subscribe channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues also i have many other big data videos even you can find out uh, a 17 hour big data video like two part of video i have uploaded part one and part two complete big data course for free it's 17 hours it is there in youtube in my channel and i have given that link in the description box of this video and if you want to contact me you can find my contact linkedin instagram in the description box of this video thanks for watching